think again as we had before about the sorts of assumptions that you're going to make so if you're going to use this equation then knowing that we or expecting that we're going to get a um, uh, an increase in temperature from an exothermic reaction that's what we're going to be measuring about this we're going to have to look at the specific heat of water the products um, will be will include a salt in there so that won't be exactly accurate this is what we want you to think about when you're carrying out your experiments and looking at potential sources of error and where you might have any deviation uh, between your empirical or experimental value and the theoretical value which I've given you here. Um, that's all we really want to do is just to set this one up for you, uh, give you the opportunity in class to carry out a couple of different types of neutralization reactions and to compare your results with the theoretical values. Good luck and thanks for watching.